watching this video, but welcome to my Sunday reset. Uh, it's a little bit of a later start to the day. I was up earlier getting the sheets done and then just doing a couple other chores and tasks. So that's what I've been doing for the majority of the day. But now I'm going to get into the cleaning part of my day. So I did already strip the bed sheets and get them through the washer and dryer this morning but now I'm going to make the bed. Then the other main task that I have for today is to basically clean the floors. So in my bedroom, I already did like my weekly cleaning routine on Friday um, and it's currently Sunday, so I don't need to do that again at the moment. So I'm gonna focus on the floors today and then just clean up a couple of other things. I have a friend coming over later this evening. I wanna make sure the house is all clean for when she comes by. So yeah, just a couple of things to do I'm mainly focusing on the floors and then just picking up a couple of other things to prepare for the week ahead so let's get started like i mentioned i had started the bed sheets earlier in the day so now i'm just prepping the mattress to put them back on i usually just vacuum the mattress to get any like fuzzies or dog hair and then here I am making the bed. Making the bed is a whole process. It takes like 10, 15 minutes to do, but it's always nice to have fresh sheets at the start of the week. So bed has been made now, and the next thing I'm going to do is pick up around the area, uh, the floor area, and then also maybe clean up some of the clutter on the furniture and stuff. Uh, like I mentioned, I did already dust my bedroom. I did like my weekly dusting routine and I do have a video um, on that routine, figuring it out in my new home. So I will link that above if you are interested, but let's do this so we can move on to the vacuuming and mopping. So I had some laundry that was sitting out on my drying rack and I'm curious, I have a question, how long do you let stuff dry before you put it away? Because sometimes I feel like 24 hours is definitely not enough time for certain items. They won't get like all the way dry, like maybe the collar or like just a certain part of a hoodie won't be completely dry. So sometimes I leave things out hanging out to dry for like 48 to 72 hours, I'd say. Yeah, sometimes they've gone out there sitting around on the drying rack for like three days, which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing, but I'm just wondering how quickly people put away things um, that they've hung out to dry. Curious to know. And I guess it probably varies by what you're hanging out, but what, do you, what would you say your average is? I would love to know. So once I put all of the laundry away and pick some things up off the floor, just going in with my Dyson vacuum and vacuuming up the floor. And I'm trying to do a really good job with the vacuuming. I noticed some dust bunnies under the bed this week, so I really wanted to make sure that I got under there. And I also took out all the containers from my room because I know that I'm going to be mopping it up later today, as I mentioned. So now just a quick break in the kitchen. I am just doing the dishes from breakfast this morning and then loading up the dishwasher here. Not too many dishes to do, but just wanted to get it done. 
and now I am filling up my O Cedar spin mop here. This is the bucket where you fill the water. And I put in a little bit of the Method floor cleaner. I don't, I think people definitely use different products with this. I've seen a lot of people use Fabulosa, I believe. Um, I haven't tried that before, but maybe that's something I could try next because I end up doing not just the wood floors, but also the bathroom tiles and the kitchen tiles and I know this is a wood cleaner but I'm using it on these tiles anyways so maybe I should use something that's more of like a multi-purpose multi-floor surface cleaner if you have any suggestions I'd be happy to hear it but that's what we're using for today and of course I'll use up that bottle before trying something new. But I then moved to my living room and I'm realizing this is the first time you're kind of seeing my new living room. I don't think I've showed it in a video yet before and we definitely do still have some work to do on this new place. It's definitely not anywhere near done but at the same time I am not an interior designer and not even close. I just like certain things, but I don't know how to put things together. So truly it may never be done, but yeah, that was a little peek and I'm sure you'll all show you more of it in later videos. Now that the floors are clean, I am just putting away all the stuff back on the floors. So all of the rooms, that I wanted to mop today have been mopped now. And when I dumped out that water, it was so dirty. It was pretty nasty. Um, so I guess that does prove that the spin mop is actually working. Anyways, for now, since it's getting into Sunday evening, I'm actually going to run to the grocery store and pick up a watermelon and maybe a couple other things. We're going to cook dinner. Then I'll probably resume some other reset activities later this evening, just prepping for the work week. So I will chat with you later. So we've had dinner and it's a little later in Sunday evening, but I still have a few more things to do. And one of the main things that I wanted to get done today was cleaning out this hallway. So since moving in about, you know, a couple weeks ago, not at a full month here yet, but I just haven't put away some stuff in this hallway, um, mainly because I wanted to figure out like a different organization system for some of my clothes. But for now, I think I may just have to put some stuff in the room if I want to just get them out of the hallway. So I'll show you what that looks like. Just clothes in boxes and paintings that I need to hang up and some stuff for my suitcase. So I'm going to work on starting to organize that. And because they've been sitting out for a while, they're a little like dusty. So I'm going to take my dice into them and kind of clean them off. This dust was probably a combination of dust from our new apartment and the old apartment. So I'm the only one at fault here for not cleaning them off before moving. But regardless, fabric's gonna catch dust and it's kind of hard to remember to do these. But since they were out, it was a good time to get all the dust and fuzzies up. So each one of these had fuzzies on them, so I made sure to take the time to vacuum them. And here I am just replacing what was inside this suitcase. I had like these little travel, the little travel zipper bags, like the little separators. So you can like separate your outfits or just separate by clothing type. And I especially love to put like undergarments and underwear in them just to keep them separate from everything else. So super handy, super useful. This is like our little travel suitcase. So just refilling that. Then after that, it was time to go through the bins. This bin in particular had sneakers and shoes that, or I guess these two bins had sneakers and shoes that I wasn't wearing. So what I ended up doing, I separated it by the kind of type of shoe. So one I made into an athletic shoe bin. So shoes that I would wear hiking or working out in the gym or indoors. I separated that into one. 
and then in the other I put my winter shoes for now and I'm going to end up putting them away with like my winter clothes and everything and then in the black duffel bag that I have I had all of my formal shoes and they were all in these plastic like grocery bags and you know that's old because the stores around here don't even use grocery bags anymore so these are super old and just kind of an inefficient way of storing my shoes yes i get that it kept them sanitary by keeping like the soles of the shoes separate from everything else but i couldn't really even see what was in that bag and at the same time i also feel like i don't have a ton of formal shoes but once i laid them all out i definitely do have a ton so a updated thing that i put them into was the more flat and elongated bin it's fabric bin still those black fabric bins but this way i can at least open that up and then see all of the more formal shoes that i have and i don't have to go digging through plastic bags to see what i'm going to wear for a formal event it just adds less stress to my life and like everything else that black duffel bag was quite dusty so it took a while to kind of vacuum it up so i started out most of the stuff so this is some stuff i'm going to take downstairs these are like winter shoes this is now a suitcase for when i need it for traveling and then this these are like workout shoes and then the other boxes i placed under my bed these are socks and then there are shoes in the black box there. So that was good to get that organized. But the situation with these three are that this one contains like summery, like bathing suits and such, these ones. And then these two are like workout um, based boxes or bins. So these are like pants and then those are workout tops. So, you know, workout collection isn't too, too crazy, but my ultimate goal is to get it into the closet one day. Hopefully in these drawers, if I can declutter these down, that's not even opening because they're so packed in there. So that's kind of embarrassing. Um, but I think that's going to be a task for another day, like a whole closet clean out because that definitely needs to happen at some point. But all that to say, yeah, my goal is to get workout clothes in the drawers. But for now, I think I'm just going to dump them out and kind of fold what I have in there. Um, already so let's do that so like I mentioned each box or little bin has its own purpose or like category of what's inside what's going on with them and so I took all of the clothing items out and then you can see the dust collection on the bottom of that we are going to absolutely vacuum that off Then off camera I ended up going through the clothes that I had in each one and here I am just putting everything back into each bin. And those are the final results, much more neat. And I also have a donation pile, which is great. So update is I put those bins under this part of the bed so that when I work out, I can just slide them out, grab pants, and then grab tops there. And then that one is like swim and beach stuff since it's summer. Makes sense to have that kind of situated there. And then the other things, I'm just gonna take this downstairs along with that, some boxes and stuff I have to deal with. So right now also just leaving that, that is something I have to tackle at a different date. That's kind of some empties, some not empties, some travel stuff, I'm going to do that soon. And then also have these paintings and art that just needs to be nailed on the wall, which shouldn't be too crazy. And maybe I will do that tonight just to get it done. So yes, it's not too crazy and we are going to do it tonight because I've been putting it off for so long and I've had a general idea of where I wanted to put these paintings, but like I mentioned earlier, I'm no interior designer and to be honest, I have a very loose idea of what I'm doing and where things should go. So I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best with the hammer, the positioning, aligning, etc. I'm not really sure.
like I said, trying my best, I hung up this beautiful painting there. And we're gonna get back to it because I didn't like where it was, but I'm also ha hanging up this plant painting above my nightstand by the bed. This is how I had it set up in my old apartment and I just really like it. Just adding some greenery. And yeah, like I said, I did not like where that first one was. So I ended up taking the nail out of the wall and then repositioning it a little bit lower. It's, it's interesting, you have to keep that in mind, how high or how low you want a painting, who would have thought? And once that was done, taking a step back, I think it looked a lot better. And since this video has been filmed, I am still happy with how it is, just despite how stressed I looked. All right, y'all, I think hanging the paintings was my final task for this Sunday evening reset. I'm gonna spend some time just kind of prepping work stuff, um, going through my notes and seeing what I have to do for the week. But I'm going to sign off here and just thank you for coming along with me and resetting my home on this beautiful Sunday afternoon and evening. So that will wrap it up for this week's video, my Sunday reset video slash cleaning vlog. I hope this gave you some motivation and inspiration to get some cleaning done of your own. Hope you enjoyed. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to see more videos from me on a weekly basis and I will see you in the next one.